We are in the dually and this is the big video I've been telling you guys about. We got tires in the bed. We got some brand new Nitto Ridge grapplers here. And they're gonna be sitting about 32 inches tall, about 12 inches wide. And we're gonna be rocking that on currently stock suspension, potential leveling kit coming on the truck. But that has not officially been decided. I thought I would let you guys see how the truck sits on stock suspension before officially deciding the leveling kit because I believe the tire should totally clear on the stock suspension. That's kind of the reason I went with the size that I did. So we're gonna get these dropped off here. I gotta actually drop the whole truck off and then I'm gonna have Ty pick me up. And then while they're doing that, I gotta do some mowing and stuff because as you can see, everything is bright green and ready to be getting cut here. I mean, everybody has already been mowing their lawns now the last few days. It's in the 70s today, it's gorgeous. So I gotta get some mowing done while I'm waiting for these to get wrapped up at the shop. And I'm hoping they'll get it done today. They said they're not sure if it'll get done today or not, but they're gonna try. I got a second gen behind me. I got a second gen passing me. There's a lot of second gen guys right here, but the goal is that we're gonna have everything done in this video here today. So we will see how that goes. We're gonna try our best. And as long as they get the tires put on the truck in the next couple hours and get it back, we should be able to finish up all the other stuff that we have to do. And I don't know if you've noticed, but on the first day, we already got the tent put on the truck. And it's not a complete 5% all the way around because the windshield can only be 50, legally speaking. But everything else around the truck is a 5% with a 50% on the windshield, so it looks pretty stinking good. And honestly, really, really love the way that it turned out. We're gonna drop his information on our Instagram. We're gonna be tagging him. And he is doing actually mobile tinting. It's a, it's a friend of Ty's. It's a family friend and he's started his own business and he's doing mobile tinting. Started his own mobile tinting and the kid is phenomenal. Um, he does really stinking good work. There's no streaks or bubbles or anything in the tent. It's actually probably some of the best tent I've ever had installed on a truck. And uh, it was somebody that technically has the least amount of experience in terms of years under their belt. He's been tinting for two years. And the guy that he used to work for is like devastated that he's like starting his own business because he said it's one of the best tent guys he's ever had in there and he's just got a natural knack for being able to do it extremely well other than the bird poop on the outside of the window there but the tent itself is literally like perfect so we'll link some of his instagram information there on the video here if i have it and then uh, just send him a dm send him a message and then i'll try to tag him on some of our posts there on instagram as well so you guys can easily find him and schedule some tent work we're somewhere here in central ohio so just get in touch with them and let them know what you need and see if he can get you hooked up well i will never ever be doing business with this tire shop ever again because the guy which is their head guy who's been there forever absolute and utter freaking jerk and it's technically the tire shop with the most good reviews in all of ashland ohio you look them up and you live in the area and you've used them you probably have heard of them or used them before i call them up i tell them the size of tire i'm wanting to put on a truck it's stock suspension it's a dually i'm going to need a dually speed spacer between the rear set no problem bring it in cool so even when i get there i said hey you guys want to come around back i can show you this before i leave i go back there the guy's instantly like there's no way there's no way you can put those big tires on a stock truck there's no way there's no way Keep in mind, they're like 32.5 inches tall, 12 inches wide, right? On stock suspension on a Dodge 3500 second gen, if you put a dually spacer between the rear set, it'll be fine. I've done it before, you know? Actually, several times done before. And he goes, there's no way, those will never fit. Those are, I said, dude, I said, you don't have to believe that they'll fit. It's my truck, I bought the tires, I got the stuff, and I've done it before. It, it works just fine. And he's like, well, he's like, I'm not taking any risk. He's like, so you can leave it here, but as soon as I get those tires mounted and balanced and I'm ready to bolt them on, I'm calling you to be the one to tighten those lug nuts because this thing's gonna go falling apart. I'm like, what? He said, every truck that's ever had spacers between the rear end always falls apart. Everybody knows that. And I'm like, dude, I've literally had, what, four dualies with spacers between the rear ends? Not one of them ever 
fell apart actually and you can just tell he was just super ignorant on the topic and didn't really know what he was talking about and he was just making up excuses because maybe he was just having a bad day or I, I really just don't know like really not sure what to think of that other than the fact that the guy was just being a jerk I and mean, he was like swearing he's like yeah i'm gonna put these effing tires on this effing truck it's not gonna put... and like as i'm walking away he's still freaking talking crap about me as i'm walking away i'm like he's like well you can leave it here but he's like when it comes to tighten them on you're doing it i'm like i'll bring my own milwaukee impact gun and everything and i'll tighten them on no big deal and he's like dude this effing kid thinks he can put these and tires on this truck this is stupid he's like kids don't dumb kid doesn't understand what he's doing like just like being an absolute jerk like Gene, just being stupid and then i get in the truck we'll get in the car with ty to go to the house i don't make it a half mile down the road it's been like literally two minutes since i got in the car and i get called and you can hear the lady she's like yeah so they said that it's just not possible the tires are too big and that's never recommended to put bigger tires on a stock vehicle and it's not going to fit and so they just need you to come get the truck and you can hear the guy in the background literally still just like furious like like i did something to him i don't know what the f this kid's thinking like nobody can put tires that big on a freaking truck like that and i'm thinking they're literally like 32.5 inch tall by 12 wides i'm like bro i'm a paying customer i've come to you guys like how many times now like six or seven different times mm-hmm pick up my stuff within 20 minutes of them calling me every time, immediately pay. I've been the least problematic customer and probably the most recurring customer that they've had in this area. And they're over here making a big scene about it. It's the same guys I always work with, same dudes. And all of a sudden, it's, they're just being completely disrespectful. Couldn't have been just like, hey man, honestly, like we love the idea, it's gonna look super cool, but we just don't want the liability of doing anything with the spacer. It could have just been as simple and professional as that, but no. Just start making accusations about how I'm stupid. I don't know what I'm doing and it's never going to work and you should never do that. And it's just dumb. And anyways, he's a moron and we're going to make this truck look sick for you guys. So stay tuned. Let's get these pulled off. And we did find another shop that um, they were very professional. They're like, hey, we don't really want the liability of the space between the rear dualies. We know some guys buy the right ones and they work great. But on the off chance you give us a set that's a cheap set and it causes you problems, we just don't want to be liable. But if you want to bring your wheels and tires in, we do not care how big they are, as long as they are the correct size to mount up onto the wheels, we will mount them up to the stock wheels for you and you can take them and put them on the truck. I said, thank you. And then once I'm done, I'm going to take a picture of the truck, totally locking and everything. I'm going to post it on a Google review on the other morons freaking website and be like, yo, I did something that was impossible, bro. <laughs> just thought I'd add that in there. You're an idiot. Here we are, we got Rosine with a bed full of tires. We've got the new wheels and tires, and then we got the old ones. You can see the old ones were definitely on the age side when they took them off. Some of the lip got a little bit ripped. You can see how, you know, old and wore those are. Tread's not terrible, but they're just, they're just old. So we're gonna get to pulling these out. We're gonna throw all the old tires out behind the barn and use them as part of our shooting range backstop here. And then we're gonna to get to mounting on the new ones on the dually. And we're gonna see the fitment test because although I've done big tires on a stock suspension truck before with a spacer between the rear set, these guys all sounded like it's impossible and it's not gonna work. So we are about to see if I in fact was a genius that has these beautiful fat meaty mud tires on this truck and successfully fit them and able to still turn and everything or if they were all corrected for some reason this is the only stock second gen 3500 that for a tire that is smaller than 33 inches tall and not more than 12 inches wide for some reason cannot turn and cannot fit on the rear set so let's get to pulling these things out of the truck i was actually working on the headlights but now that we got the tires here let's get to
Look at that. 99, 370. Man, point proven. Yes, you can fit a 305-70R16 on bone stock suspension on a dually on their stock wheels. I say dually, I'm talking about a second gen dually. On the stock wheels. And it totally fits. And it locks. And it is the biggest tire size. It's almost like I bought tires before. It's the biggest tire size that will fit on this truck without rubbing. And I showed you guys in that one clip, maybe I'll replay it here. It is close. I mean, it is like the thickness of a quarter from rubbing. And that is with the mud flaps on. And the point that it almost rubs isn't even really the, I mean, technically it's the mud flap, but it's like almost touches like the screw head right here, which is tied up against the real fender back behind there. Again, this is a Nitto Ridge Grappler 305 7016. These are stock second gen dually wheels. No spacer in the front. Two inch spacer in the rear. Okay. And yes. There's space between the tires. If you really wanted to, you could probably do a two and a half inch spacer if you're worried about that with a real heavy load. It'd probably be fine for the most part, but if you get a real heavy load, that'd probably cause a little bit of an issue. And I also don't know if these are completely aired up or not. I did request them to be a little bit lower than what's recommended just because usually they'll freaking throw like 80 PSI in the freaking things and then they ride like a brick. Usually I have them put about 55 in my tires because I just don't like the absolutely terrible ride quality with super aired up tires. But if you aired them up the way they're supposed to be recommended, I guess technically you'd probably have even a little bit more space between those duels in the rear. But you can see the daylight between them. Man, that looks good. To that guy earlier today, the dude was just a jerk, man. Just a flat out jerk. I just said, hey, can you do this? They said, yes, I brought her in. I said, hey, can you look at it? And the dude just started swearing at me and telling me how terrible of an idea it was and how stupid it is. And that effing stupid kid, this and that, couldn't put these on there, that's stupid. You're gonna break everything. It's not gonna be able to turn. But on that note, this thing looks freaking good i'm glad i was able to get the wheels taken over to a shop that uh is not so stuck up i guess about making sure that they're right even when they're not where they're not even willing to work with you at all thing looks freaking sick and yes they fit they clear they fit within the rear fenders they can fully lock in the front completely i locked it as far as it can go left and as far as it can go right guess what it didn't do it didn't rub at all it's close but it doesn't rub i don't know about you guys but i freaking i love the look of this thing honestly it's i'm like so torn because i really like the oem look of this truck and there's some trucks that i just don't like oem and then there's certain trucks that you're just like ugh, you've earned the right to stay oem because you just look good stock i mean i hated the stock tire setup on this truck but the OEM headlights and cab lights on this thing, man, if I just swapped out the headlight bulbs, LEDs, kind of like Nick did with that black dually that we bought off him. Oh my gosh, dude. I mean, this thing, it just, it looks so, so, so nice. Just that OEM look, it does just fit this truck so well. Some trucks just can't pull it off, but like, this is one of those trucks that honestly, it would be really hard to dislike this OEM style cab light and headlight configuration on this truck because in all honesty they're really not that bad the cab lights are a little faded i guess but you know they're just amber anyways they still look good but the headlights are really not even like fogged up bad or anything like that they actually look pretty nice i'm sure they could just use new headlight bulbs with some bright leds which i already have i already have a set of those anyway you guys let me know down in the comment section below do you guys want it to stay the oem look other than the bird poop we'll get rid of the bird poop just like the dark tint the meats, stock wheels, stock headlight, tail light, and just maybe swap out the bulbs so all the lighting is really nice and bright. 
I've already got the accessories for the lighting anyway, so it's not like we can't do aftermarket. We can do the clear headlights, the clear cab lights, you know, white LEDs everywhere. That'll also look good. I'm sure that'll look great. But if you guys like the OEM look, let me know down in the comment section below and maybe we'll stick with it. Do not forget, you can get entered to win this beautiful 1997 12 valve with only 99,000 miles on it, plus $5,000 in cash. And this truck, guys, is literally freaking mint. I mean, it's so nice. I mean, yeah, the underside's a little bit dirty because they fluid film coated it the last few years, but at least there's no rust, literally no rust. I mean, it's 99,000 miles, originally from Arizona. When it was brought out east here, it was undercoated the two years that it was over here. This thing is freaking mint. If you want a completely flipping rust-free, pristine second gen 12 valve five speed manual four wheel drive truck this is as good as it gets right here this thing is literally so freaking nice nice is probably the nicest second gen we've ever bought for sure the nicest five speed 12 valve we've ever bought with the lowest miles we've ever bought and definitely the most expensive one because it's the nicest one we've ever bought Ugh. Can't get enough of that truck. Anyways, guys, if you want to get entered to win that truck and this truck at the same time, lmpgear.com. Right now, every $1 is going to get you 30 entries towards winning both of these trucks at the exact same time. And not only are you going to get entered to win both these trucks, but only until Sunday, which is in just a few days. So if you haven't done so yet, grab those orders, get entered to win. Somebody's got to take it home. Somebody could be you. Peace.